Hello, I'm Glenda Lewis, and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. A tanker fire on I-75 has thrown quite a roadblock in the evening commute. The tanker crashed and caught fire on northbound I-75 at Big Beaver in Troy. The freeway remains closed from Crooks to Rochester. The tanker is the only vehicle involved in this crash. The driver was taken to the hospital for observation. It appears the truck hit the median wall before it went up in flames this afternoon. The plume of smoke could be seen miles away. It's not clear how long that stretch of freeway will be closed tonight. MDOT says it's likely the scorched pavement will have to be replaced. And a motion filed by a defense attorney is making accusations in the alleged plot to kidnap Governor Whitmer. The lawyer for suspected bomb maker Barry Croft claims the lead FBI agent talked about creating chaos for the defense. He allegedly referred to the lawyers as paid liars on a recording obtained by the attorney, Josh Blanchard. The motion cites so-called evidence dumps and asks for a witness list by late August. It states the council has no evidence. Prosecutors share the view, quote, create chaos and disarray among the defense attorneys. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your 7 First Alert forecast. Going to be a busy week here. Uh, this evening we've got some showers and thunderstorms. We'll keep track of those for you, let you know if there are any trouble. But it uh, looks like there'll be some scattered storms throughout a good chunk of the day, especially late morning through the afternoon evening on Tuesday. Some of those certainly could be strong with heavy rain. Maybe some winds that are a little bit too strong as well. We'll keep track of that. Wednesday is a dry day. Back at it late Thursday through Friday with the potential for some more heavy rain. And then as we go through the weekend, things improve on Saturday. Saturday. If there are some showers, it's probably just early in the morning. Most of the day is dry and Sunday looks nice as well. Mid 80s for both days of the weekend.